The toll of Saturday's mass shooting in Allen still weighs heavily on visitors to the memorial site almost five days later. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. There are more prayer services scheduled for the eight victims killed and seven wounded in Saturday's mass shooting. And tonight, one service will be held at the memorial at the edge of the mall property, a place where many people are still visiting to pray and to leave their condolences. Fox News' Alex Boyer is there with the update. Alex. Hi, Clarice. And as of this afternoon, uh, we have not gotten any updates on the investigation from law enforcement. I can tell you that we know, of course, that the uh, outlet has been turned back over to control of property management, although I can tell you it does remain closed. And this growing memorial, which, of course, has become a touchstone for many people grieving here in North Texas, will remain here for the indefinite future. It's three simple words that have deep meaning. North Texans continue to show Allen love in the wake of Saturday's mass shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets. Um, I've lived here since I can remember. Uh, I just want to come pay my respects to these people and the, their family and friends. Wednesday morning, some Trader Joe's employees from nearby Plano dropped off a truckload worth of flowers. Assistant manager Michael Nasios said it's the least they can do for their fellow Collin County community. It just hits home when it's here, so we just wanted to show our appreciation and kind of reach out to the families and the ones that got hurt from this. It's been nearly five days since a heavily armed gunman opened fire at the outdoor mall, killing eight people. Their names written in white across the giant crosses. Several other shoppers were injured. According to Medical City Healthcare, six people remain hospitalized in three area hospitals. The agency in charge of the investigation, DPS, did not provide an on-camera briefing Wednesday, but previously said its officers are still working to determine the motive. Pure evil, and it has left this community reeling and, and in shock and broken. Pastor J.D. Leak and his wife came to the growing memorial located at the edge of the still closed outlet mall to offer a sympathetic ear to visiting mourners. We've just come out here and felt like it was good for us to try to pray with people. Terry Leak estimates they've offered counsel to nearly a hundred people here over the last two days. People need help. They're, they're, there's discouragement. There's fear. There's anger. And silence. Despite the crowds that continue to pay tribute at the memorial the scene remains somewhat silent. This latest mass shooting weighing on everyone's heart. At this point, it can happen anywhere. My heart will forever, forever go out to the uh, friends and family of the victims. And the vigil that is going to take place here begins at 7 p.m. I can tell you that there is an increased police presence here. About a dozen or so additional officers arrived here about 30 minutes ago. Keep in mind, if you are coming down here, and now the entrance uh, to this area that leads up to the memorial is now closed, no doubt, to allow folks to be able to kind of uh, mill here in front and, and gather uh, in the street area uh, in front of that vigil. Also, I want to tell folks that there is another um, church mass that is being held at St. Jude's Catholic Church on Greenville Avenue. That also starts, Clarice, at 7 p.m. here in Allen.